DVI Suite allows for digital inspections through checklists. DVI Suite's checklists are designed to be sent via text or email to your customer, allowing them to make an educated decision on the services needed for their vehicle. The checklists allow for standardization of vehicle inspections while also allowing the service writer to quickly identify vehicle needs found by the technician. To get the most out of DVI Suite, we will review how you can configure checklists to better suit your shop's inspection needs. We will start with what the customer sees when they receive a checklist via text from your shop. The customer will receive a link to view the checklist. Once clicked, they will view all of the items your technician reviewed along with any pictures or videos captured during the inspection. The customer can toggle to only see work required, the red sections, work recommended, the yellow sections, or the entire checklist. We can see that the checklist is segregated into sections of the vehicle, allowing the customer to better understand what area of their vehicle the checklist is referencing. There are three components that make up a checklist, groups, items, and conditions. Together, these components allow a customer to make an educated decision on the services they need for their vehicle. Some additional information that your customers can see on their checklist are your shop's information, their vehicle details and image, and your technician and service writer image and information. Before we log into DVI Command, let's go through the three main parts of checklists that were mentioned earlier. Within a given checklist are groups, such as interior, exterior, underhood, etc. As mentioned earlier, Groups allow the checklist items to be segregated into sections of the vehicle, allowing the customer to better understand what area of the vehicle is being inspected. Within a given group are items such as wipers, horns, exterior lights, etc. that you want the technician to review during their inspection. Within a given item are conditions such as visual inspect OK, inoperable, torn, etc. Conditions are where the technician documents the status of the specific area in question. Now that we have seen how a checklist looks for your customer along with its main features, let's review how to configure this view as well as the items and conditions available for your technician to choose during their inspection. First, let's make sure our checklists are configured to allow groups along with service writer and technician images and bios. Open DVI command from within RO Writer. Log in as a DVI Suite Administrator. Once logged in, select Configuration, then select Options from the left. Ensure that checklist version is set to the number 2 and include Service Writer image and include Technician image are checked. Click Save. Now let's configure the conditions, groups, and items we spoke about earlier. Conditions need to be in place before you can connect them to items. Conditions are options your technician has when reviewing an item on a vehicle. This is also what the customer sees on their checklist when toggling to see work required, work recommended, or the entire checklist. From the left side, click Conditions. Note, your DVI suite may already have conditions specified. To change an existing condition, click Edit next to the condition you would like to change. As we go left to right, condition, symbol, layout, color, and intensity changes are seen on the checklists when viewed by the customer. Condition is the description of the need related to the given item. Symbol is shown when the customer views the checklist. Layout denotes if you would like the customer to see both the symbol and the description. Color is how DVI Suite knows if the item falls into the red, yellow, or green as noted earlier. Intensity denotes if the condition is bold when shown on the customer's view of the checklist. When the condition is marked for follow-up and days to follow-up are entered, you will have the ability through DVI command to add this to our writer's marketing module. No defect allows you to note the given condition as good or okay. Once you have adjusted the condition, click update to save your changes. If you want to add a new condition, click New Condition. Enter the information as described earlier. Then click Save. 
Now that you have conditions, let's learn how to manage groups, then connect your conditions to items, then items to groups. Groups need to be in place before we can add items that contain our conditions. From the left, click on Groups. Your DVI suite may already have groups specified. To change an existing group, click Edit. Clicking Edit allows you to change the name and change the order in which it shows on the checklist your customer sees. After you make your adjustments, click Update. If you want to add a new group, click Add New Group. Enter the group name and the display order, then click Save. Now that you have conditions and groups set up, you have the building blocks for checklists. Now you can connect your conditions to items and the items to groups. From the left, click Items. If your DVI suite already had conditions configured, you will find you already have items configured that include your conditions. Let's go through editing and adding items. To change the item name or group, click Edit next to the item. To update the conditions that are available within the checklist for the item, click on Conditions. From here, you can remove the condition as an option or reorder by clicking Move. If you need to add a new condition to this item, click Add Condition. Choose the item you would like to add and click Save. To add an entirely new item, click New Item. Provide a name for the item, choose the group for the item, then click Save. Click Conditions next to your newly created item to add conditions. Repeat for each condition you would like to include in your item. As mentioned earlier, you can adjust the order of the conditions once you add them to your item. With conditions, groups, and items configured, let's review the configuration needed to associate these to your checklist. From the left, click Checklists. As mentioned, your DVI suite should already have existing checklists configured. Let's review how to quickly update an existing checklist. Click Select next to a checklist name to edit the checklist. From here, you can click Move to reorder the item delete to remove the item, or add item to add a new item. When you click Add Item, you are prompted to choose your item from the list. Click Save. Now you know how to manage your checklist, you need to make sure your repair orders include your checklists. To make sure this happens within DVI Suite, you must assign the checklist to a labor operation. This allows the checklist to be auto-added to the repair order when the labor operation is selected. From the left, click Labor Operations with Checklists. Because labor operations differ from shop to shop, this section is potentially not configured. However, if it is configured, click Edit next to the line you want to change. You can change the checklist associated with the labor by choosing the checklist you want from the list. If you do not want an associated checklist, choose No Checklist. Click Update to save your change. If you want to add a new labor operation that adds a checklist, click Attach a checklist to a labor operation. First choose the labor category, then the operation, then choose your checklist. Click Save. Through this video, we have learned how to make and manage checklists in DVI Suite. Remember, checklists are designed to be sent via text or email to your customer, allowing them to make educated decisions on the services needed for their vehicle. The checklists also allow for the standardization of vehicle inspections while also allowing the service writer to quickly identify vehicle needs found by the technician.